Welcome back to a new video. My name is Mattia, in case you don't know, but in case you know, you also know that I have not been posting on YouTube for around one month now. So what happened? A lot of people said, he deep, he doesn't do copywriting anymore, he quit copywriting. No, the reality is that when I was posting, I was making around 1.5k a month with copywriting alone. And now, 30 days later, I'm making over 5k a month with copywriting. So what happened? Okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what happened and how you can learn from this. How did I go from 1.5 to 5k a month in 30 days and now you can do the same. This is what this video is going to be about. Now, you need to know a couple of things about me first. My situation was a bit weird, okay? So a lot of, I would, first of all, I would start by saying that I think that the average copywriter lasts less than a month. He quits before a month, you know, sends a couple of DMs and then goes back to YouTube and doesn't work and changes business model. I would say the average copywriter quits before the first month, okay? Now, I've been in this game for a year and four months now, okay? And I know very few people who've been into copywriting, act actively making money for over a year. I don't think I know almost anyone. That's how fast the people change. That's how fast copywriting goes. That's how many people start and quit. Okay, that's it. So what I would say is I've got, I was pretty sort of a unicorn. Within the first two to three months, I was already making 1K a month. So it was looking great for me, all right? It was looking like I was going to get to 10K in no time. The reality instead was that I've been stuck between one and 2K a month for like eight months, nine months. So it was pretty bad, okay? Even though I had my YouTube, even though I had all my stuff, I was stuck at around one to 2K a month with copywriting. I was never able to go past that, to go past that mark, you know? Take the, a step further and go to three, four, five, okay? And why is that? So basically, first of all, it was tough via outreach to find my ideal client, okay? Yes, I would find a client. I would, let's say, convince him to get started. We would work together. Maybe I would get him clients. I would get him, you know, the emails were good. The copy was good. But then while I was finding the second client to start scaling, one of the two would say no, okay? Or one of the two would say, all right, I'm not gonna do it again next month. Or all right, this and that. So basically I would go from one client to two clients back to zero and then one, back to zero, and then two, back to one, back to two, back to zero, okay? So I've had all these things with clients, and for a long time I thought like, oh shit, my copy is not good enough. That's what it is, right? My copy is not good enough. When in reality that was not it. I simply was not finding, I was not being able to lend my ideal clients, people who see the value in my service, and they actually, you know, have a good product, have a good offer, and all they need is a good copywriter to sell it for them, I would, not be, I, would, I would not find that. I would find people that, whose funnel was fucked, everything was you know, pretty bad, they, the offer was not good, the pricing was not good, and I, have not, I did not have much experience, but I could tell when someone would buy something or not. And yes, my marketing was good, my copy, my copy was good, but the offer was not good. So I realized at the end of this year, of, at the end of 2023, that if I wanted to go to the next level, if I wanted to go to five, 10K a month, I had to change my target. I could not be bragging for $100 sending outrages, okay? I could not do that anymore. That's something that zero to 1K, 1K a month copywriters do. I wanted to get to 5, 10, so I could not use the same strategy that I was using that I used to get to one. Something had to change. It took me a lot of time to realize it, to be honest, but I realized it, okay? And what did I do? What did I do? to go to 5k a month. First of all, I started attracting my ideal clients. I realized that the chances that I would send out outreaches and get a reply and lend a client with a perfect funnel or with already a working product and all they need was a good copywriter and they had the money to pay me was tough, okay? So I realized that I needed to start attracting my clients. Sending out outreaches you are reaching out to the client. But you need to also find a way for the client to reach out to you. So if you have a good outreach method and you double it, 
with a good uh, uh, attracting method, you are doubling your chances of landing an ideal client, someone who can pay you, someone who has a good product, someone who you can actually perform for, perform with, okay? And so what did I do? I started, instead of doubling down on my outreach, which is what I've always been doing, doubling, out, doubling down on my DMs, doubling down on my DMs, doubling down on my DMs for like a year, I was like, okay, that's obviously not getting me to 5K a month. I'm landing clients, yes, but they're not quality clients. So what I did is I doubled down on my content. I doubled down on my Instagram, okay? If you look at my Instagram now, it looks very good. Um, basically, my Instagram is among the fourth, maybe third or fourth, copywriting profile, most active, with the good views, with good likes, with good engagement, and Instagram pushes that, okay? So what did I do? I started, um, I started pushing my Instagram profile to the top. I, want, I started doing more Instagram, I started doing more Reels, I started doing more stories, put everything in the highlights, uh, you know, people would comment, I would answer right away, and stuff like that. So what that got me is that whenever someone looks for the word copywriting on Instagram, I pop up, okay? So that is obviously good because someone is a copywriter, they look for copywriter on Instagram and I pop up. So that's how I attracted my client. And in the meanwhile, I was also, I was also doing some outreach. So what I would say is do not, I did not stop doing outreach. I kept on doing outreach, but I also doubled down on my attracting attracting method, which is Instagram. You attract people via Instagram, via social media, by posting, okay? And so that way, I was still outreaching some, but what I did, what happened is that one day, someone reached out to me. Someone was like, hey, I need a copywriter. And I'm like, cool, right? When someone reached out saying, I need a copywriter, that's already a win. Because most people in copywriting world, you sort of have to convince them that they need it. You sort of have to, no, these are people who know they need it. And then there were also people, it turned out, that were making a lot of money, turned out they had a winning product already, turned out they were, won they were, were their business were already doing, was already doing good and they wanted to do better. It's not like their business was sinking and you as a copywriter had to get it up. So what happened is that basically I, was, I did it. I attracted an ideal client. I did it, okay? And... Uh, what happened there, okay, I attracted the client, now instead of making 1.5k a month, I'm making 3k a month. Cool, but how do you go, you know, still around there to 5, 6 and not up? You leverage your client's network. So I had, more, I had a couple of clients at the time, were in that moment doing 3k a month, and what did I do? I sent out a voice note saying, hey, I have a deal for you. For every client, for, you know, for every other referral, for every other client that you bring me, someone who might need my service, and is a high quality client, so spends with me over 600, spends over $600 a month with my service, I'm giving you a 10% discount for every client, okay? And they were like, bet, and he started sending me clients my way. So in one week, I got myself from making 1.5k a month to 5 and over k a month. Okay, that's how I did it. It's simple. It's pretty simple, but you notice how it's much different from just outraging. There's a lot more into it. There's a lot, a lot more into it. And that's what I needed to understand, what it took me 10 months to understand that to go to the next level, I have to do something different. For something to change, something has to change, whether it's your strategy, whether it's your service, whether it's your offer, whether it's your pricing. To go to the next level, something has to change. I changed something and something in my life changed and now I want to keep on changing towards, you know, always higher, always higher, always higher. Now that I got here, what is the strategy to go from 5 to 10? What is the strategy to then go from 10 to 20? I don't know it yet. I will know it because I will get there, I know it. But a few considerations on everything that I just said. First of all, you need to realize that most people, as I said, quit much before them. So the first way for you to get to $5,000 a month is obviously not quit. You don't have to quit. If you quit, you're never going to get to 5k a month. That's pretty obvious, but just saying it, okay? Secondly, what you need to do is increase your chances of getting lucky. This is extremely important. Why did that, why did that person reach out to me and not to you? 
Did I get lucky? Yes, but I was also the most likely to get lucky. You think about it. You are not posting, you're posting Canva posts and I'm posting Reels. You're posting one story a, me a week, I'm posting one story or two stories a day. My Instagram looks good, yours doesn't. Who gets the outrage? Me or you? I get it. So did I get lucky? Yes, but I was the most likely to get lucky and I put myself in that situation. Nobody put myself there, okay? So you, what you need to do to get lucky is put yourself in the best, put yourself in a situation where you're the most likely to get lucky. It's simple, simple, okay? So whether it's posting on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, I don't care. Think always like that. To get lucky, you can increase your chances of getting lucky. Okay, you need to understand it. You can increase your chances of getting lucky in whatever you do. And in copywriting, once you're at 1K a month, the best way to do it and get lucky and actually attract your ideal clients, clients that have money, clients that need your service, clients that value you, is by posting on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. That is how you increase your chances. You put your face in front of them, you, put, you rank yourself higher than other copywriters, so obviously you're most likely to get lucky. That's it, no secret, that's it. I got lucky because I put myself in a situation where I was the most likely to get lucky. And that's what it is, okay? So, I hope you learned something. It took me 10 months, over 10 months of staying at once 1K a month, around there. And hopefully, if you are at 1K a month, you can use this knowledge to get to four, five, six, much quicker, maybe two to three months. But if you're less than 1K, then you should definitely consider checking my bio and checking all my other videos because what I always target is how to get people from zero to 1K. That's what I've, I, oh, basically most of the things I do are for that because I know, I've done it multiple times, going from zero back to 1K a month, from zero back to 1K a month. I've done it multiple times and now I also know how to go from one to 5K a month. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something. If so, leave a like, drop a comment, Subscribe, maybe, whatever. And uh, yeah, more videos are on the way. I'm back at it. I'm active back on YouTube. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.